Welcome back guys. Today we are going to be doing a quick exhaust review for a Mark V GTI. Now I know there are a lot of different exhaust systems out there for this car, uh, specifically cat back exhaust and that's what I purchased. I didn't want to go and spend you know $1,500. So I went on eBay, I did my research and I found a company called Manzo and these guys make some well it looks like pretty good exhaust systems but for not a lot of money. And I picked this thing up for about 220 bucks American, which is super cheap for a catback. It looks to be full stainless, all TIG welded. And uh, I want to show you guys how it came in the package. And we're going to do a before and after test to show you guys how it sounds. Okay, guys, so you can see here that I've already started unwrapping the exhaust. It does come fully wrapped in bubble wrap and protective wrapping. But you'll see that there are two parts. So you have catback, and this is, of course, the muffler. And then from the muffler, you have a flange and you have, uh, you know, it branches off into two dual tips. Now, uh, the stock exhaust has a resonator and this aftermarket exhaust does not. So, you know, this is going to give it a little more noise, but I hope it doesn't cause any drone on the highway because typically resonators will eliminate that drone. We'll find out in the testing after this thing's installed, but appearance wise, it looks great. looks to be stainless. Uh, you'll notice on the tips, it's kind of difficult to see but it does have the Manzo script laser etched in there with their logo. It's a nice little touch and everything looks TIG welded and the welds look great. But before we install this thing, let's have a quick listen at how the stock exhaust sounds so we can compare them before and after. Alright guys, so I'm going to take the exhaust to the exhaust shop to have it installed. This is normally something I would do myself, but it's kind of cold outside, it's winter here, and I don't have a lift in this garage. I also suspect that for the amount of money that I paid for this thing, it's not going to fit correctly and it's going to need some amount of tweaking. So I just don't want to have to deal with that today, I don't have enough time. As is suspected, the exhaust did not fit properly. And you can see that after the flange, the tube was cut, flared, rotated, and re-welded to get the tips to line up correctly. All right guys, so now with the exhaust installed, you can hear what it sounds like at idle, which isn't much louder than stock in my opinion, which is fantastic because it makes it very livable every day. We're going to uh, do some light acceleration up the street here. Also a little bit of heavier acceleration. We're gonna take this thing onto the highway see what it sounds like and make sure it doesn't have any drone at highway speeds because that is probably the most annoying thing. So let's go ahead and see what it sounds like.
Now let's have a listen with a microphone mounted to the rear bumper. that gives you guys a better idea of what this exhaust sounds like on a Mark V GTI. I couldn't be happier with the results considering the amount of money invested. If you guys decide to try this exhaust for yourself, just be sure not to expect a perfect fit on the first try. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next video.